At first glance, this could be a plantation of Christmas trees in the Australian outback. But you're looking at what some are calling one of humanity's biggest ever scientific endeavors. This is an artist's impression of what's known as the SKA Low Telescope, currently being built in Western Australia. It's one of two critical components that when completed will together form the SKA Observatory or SKAO. The second part is the SKA Mid Telescope, now under construction in South Africa. SKAO will consist of more than 130,000 antennas and almost 200 dishes across the two continents. That will make it the largest radio observatory in the world, promising to answer some of our biggest questions about the universe. ANU's Professor Naomi McClure-Griffiths is a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science who discovered a spiral arm of the Milky Way and is chair of SKAO's Science and Engineering Advisory Committee. She says SKAO will enable science to take a giant leap forward. It's the chance to be able to see the very first stars in the universe from when those turned on. And then everything from the very beginning to us here and looking at how planets form in our own galaxy. For that to happen, radio telescopes must be located a long way from other human-made transmissions, such as TV, radio and mobile phone signals, which can interfere with the relatively weak radio waves coming from space. That makes this site on Wajidi country ideal. It's already home to precursor telescopes like this one. The site itself is called in Yarimana Ilgari Bundara, the CSIRO Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory, which translates to sharing sky and stars. The traditional owners agreed to host the science facilities on their land as part of a broader agreement that will ensure educational, social and economic benefits for community. And the benefits to society as a whole can't be overstated. Science Minister Ed Husick says SKAO's cutting-edge technology will expose Australian businesses to new skills and capabilities. We will see those changes flow on for generations to come. SKAO will also enhance Australia's growing space industry, with scientists from around the world making regular use of the observatory. Some will even be on the lookout for intelligent extraterrestrial life. If an alien species were out there trying to reach out and say hello, by the time that radio signal got to Earth, it would have been so weak we wouldn't be able to detect it, says SKA Low Telescope Director Dr. Sarah Pierce. But that changes with SKAO. The observatory will start producing science before the end of the decade. <laughs>